Senator Thune, if, you, if you're ready, I'll Great. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I want to uh, thank you for, and the Chairman Rockefeller for, for holding this hearing and uh, want to welcome Chairman Jenikowski and all the members of the Commission uh, before us today. Thank you all for being here. Um, this is an important subject matter, and your subcommittee is, uh, is obviously going to be a, a very busy one. Um, and uh, obviously, as you can tell by the turnout today, a lot of interest. And I'm glad to see the great representation we have from members on our side. And uh, I hope that uh, we get an opportunity to have a little interaction with the commissioners as we, as we move forward. But we're living in, a, in the middle of a digital revolution, which is being powered in large part by the huge investments made by the broadband industry. There's enormous potential for job creation and innovation in the broadband, internet, and technology sectors. And this potential may be most evident in the area of mobile broadband. According to a recent Cisco report, mobile data traffic in the United States grew 62 percent last year, and by 2017 there will be a 13-fold increase worldwide. By one estimate, the nation's mobile broadband industry, directly or indirectly, supports 3.8 million jobs, contributing more than $195 billion to the U.S. gross domestic product, and driving $33 billion in productivity improvements in 2011 alone. Unfortunately, a single point of failure under the government's control could jeopardize this great potential for job creation and innovation, and that's access to wireless spectrum. Mobility is driving the innovation economy, and spectrum is what fuels wireless mobility. Without enough spectrum, the private sector will not be able to keep pace with consumer demand, which is growing exponentially. That's why we must make it a priority to increase the availability of spectrum for commercial uses as quickly as possible, and to do so in collaboration with industry and government stakeholders. More broadly, I believe we also must focus on establishing a 21st century legal and regulatory structure that serves the purposes of our 21st century economy. It's time for this committee to take a look at modernizing, modernizing our nation's rules and regulations to better reflect today's converged marketplace. Our technology and telecommunications sectors have been profoundly changed by the Internet, yet much of our country's communications laws were written in a pre-Internet world. These sectors are characterized by extremely dynamic companies, and we must ensure that the FCC is as nimble as they are. It's been 23 years since this FCC was last reauthorized by Congress, and it may be time to develop a new FCC reauthorization bill to ensure the Commission is an efficient and truly modern regulator, one that is a reliable resource for Congress and an effective agency for American citizens and industry alike. While I'm very enthusiastic about the great potential of the digital revolution, I want to make sure that all consumers, including those in our rural communities, are able to enjoy the economic and societal ben benefits of the Internet. So I want to thank Chairman Rockefeller. He and I share the same goal of getting rural America connected to advanced uh, communications and one of the best network infrastructure, or some of the best network infrastructure, I should say, in the world exists today in some of the most unlikely places, due in no small part to your leadership and keen interest in making rural America a priority. Uh, lastly, I just want to mention the issue of sequestration. Uh, I've been disappointed by the administration's uh, politically motivated scare tactics on this subject, and I hope that an independent commission like the FCC will not be just another agency following the White House's lead in trying to find cuts that can trigger a press release before looking to internal cost-saving measures that are less newsworthy. And so Chairman Rockefeller, when he gets here, I look forward to uh, working with, uh, with him and with the Commission to unleash the great potential of the American people to create jobs and to spur innovation for the 21st century economy. So thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman, and I uh, look forward to uh, hearing from our panel today.